Welcome to our video about how to install the Barcode Creator software into FM Starting Point. This video is Todd Geist approved from Geist Interactive. Now starting with FM Starting Point version 4.2, you have the option of purchasing the Barcode Creator from Geist Interactive. This product, when added to FM Starting Point, allows FM Starting Point on your Mac, Windows computer, iPhone or iPad or even on WebDirect to actually generate barcodes at any time. The barcode creator software is a one-time purchase and is not a subscription. The one-time purchase covers a project license or site license for your specific deployment of FM Starting Point. I want to show you how this works real quick. Now we've built into FM Starting Point several areas where generating barcodes might be handy. For example, you can print out a detail view of a product or a label of a product and have the barcode on the product itself. This could be handy in a warehouse situation where rapid scanning of a product could be useful for invoicing or for creating estimates. Say for example right here we have a product like a pin. We put in the part number right here. When we click out it's going to automatically talk to the built-in barcode generator software and input the barcode into the system automatically. I can click right here to actually see the barcode. This is the actual barcode right here. It's a 1D barcode and by default right here we're using code 39 or sometimes called code 3 of 9. So this is all set up and running right now in my demo right here of FM starting point. So let me take a quick step backwards here and show you what happens when you first get FM starting point. When you first get FM starting point you're getting our free database completely ready to go for the FileMaker platform. But it doesn't come with the barcode creator software built in. It will read barcodes if you have a barcode scan gun attached to your desktop computer or if you opt to use the camera that's part of your iPad. The barcode creator software is a pay to upgrade that you have to purchase from Geis Interactive Software. So when you get your copy of FM Starting Point, you can go down here to Preferences right here, click this, then slide across here to Barcode Options right here. And these are the default settings you're going to see. You're going to see that your Geist Interactive Barcode Creator software has not been installed. Now just turning this on right here and saying yes doesn't mean it's installed. And that's going to cause malfunctions. You only want to turn this on and say yes after you've purchased it and added the scripts to FM Starting Point. Now we're going to show you how to do that in just one moment. But before I do that, I want to point out that barcode scanning is currently enabled. That means that certain buttons will be visible in the interface that when you press them, FM Starting Point and FileMaker will be looking for a laser barcode reader if you're on the desktop or if you're on an iPad screen, FileMaker will access the camera and start looking for a barcode to scan. Now you can turn this off and then those buttons on the interface will become invisible. Now if you're interested in generating barcodes out of your copy of FM Starting Point, go ahead and click anywhere over here and that will pop open a window to Geist Interactive's website where you can look at and purchase the barcode creator software. This is just a one-time purchase for your organization or project. Once you've completed the purchase, you're going to get your barcode creator folder that's going to look like this. Installing the barcode creator software into FM Starting Point or any other FileMaker solution is really easy. Open the barcode creator software. I'm going to go up to scripts. I'm going to notice that there's a module folder right here. And I'm going to notice that there's a private folder and a public folder. I'm going to copy both these folders right here. Then I'm going to go over to FM Starting Point. I'm going to go up to Scripts. I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it says Barcode Creator. Down here at the bottom. And I'm going to say Paste. Now both these scripts now have been pasted in. You have to do one more thing to be able to enable and activate the Barcode Creator software. We have to connect this script right here into here. All we have to do is connect just this one script. 
And if you read right here, you'll see the instructions right here, but I'm going to show it to you real quick. You'll notice this script says unknown. What we have to do is we actually have to connect it to a script called render barcode as base64. So I'm going to click specify. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom into the public area and you'll see there's two of them here. Render barcode as base64. We want the first one. We also have a script parameter set up here at the bottom. This was preserved for us, but we want to make sure it's still ready to go right here. I click OK. So now we're completely done with installing the barcode generator in our copy of FM Starting Point. So basically it's copying over and pasting two folders of scripts and then connecting our one script right here. I'm going to save the change and close the window. And that's it. We're all set. Now once I'm done with that, don't forget to come back over here to our barcode settings and turn on our barcode creator preference like this. Now if I forget to do that, the buttons on the interface that allow us to print won't become visible. So even though we did all the work to install it, we still won't be able to use it. So don't forget to come over here and say yes to this preference setting right here. Now we're all set, we can move on and go back to home. I'm going to go over to products and to verify this I'm going to come up with a maybe a different barcode, maybe a single character barcode that's pretty small and I'm going to click right here and you'll notice it's very small and very different. I'm going to put a very big barcode in and then click in here and notice it's very different again. So the barcode was completely installed and completely activated. So that's it. That's the process for installing the barcode creator software from Geiss Interactive into FM Starting Point. But you could use the same process to install it into almost any FileMaker solution. Thank you.